The San Francisco Chinese New Year Parade normally attracts tens of thousands of people to Chinatown, spending money in those delicious restaurants, the vibrant shops. But that's not happening this year due to the pandemic. Let's bring in KTV's Claudine Wong as you're shining a light on San Francisco's Chinatown. It has such a long and storied past and many people are worried for its future. Yes, it is concerning, Gacia. I mean, certainly we've seen so many neighborhoods hit hard and San Francisco's Chinatown is no exception. It has been very difficult for businesses there. I have been there in recent weeks and over the past months and have seen how quiet those streets are. And that's not good news for an area that really depends on local and out of town visitors. And there will certainly be a loss this year without the very popular Chinese New Year Parade. The Chinese New Year Parade is a much-loved tradition for businesses in San Francisco's Chinatown. Yeah, usually it's very busy and uh, we get ready and start cranking the cookie, get prepared for the parade. On the parade day, people, before they go see the parade, they come here and enjoy a bag of cookies. They come early to shop, to enjoy Chinatown, to find a parking space, to have lunch here, to have dim sum, and then they culminate it with the parade at night. And while it will be missed this year, those who live and work in this historic neighborhood say they hope you still come to visit. At the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory, owner Kevin Chan can't run his machine daily anymore. It's too expensive and there's not enough business. But after 58 years, he's determined to keep his doors open. My store is open, still open, even though I'm not making cookies, but my store is still open for them to come in. And I have, always have an extra can of cookies for them to try. It's not just a business, it's just an institution to me. It's a museum. The Eastern Bakery has been here for almost a century. This is the oldest bakery in Chinatown, 96 years. It's going to be, it's 97, right? And while you can't go in, a table with plenty of sweet treats welcomes you. For Orlando Kwan, this is not about a bottom line. That's elusive. This is about community. We want to save Chinatown. That's the main thing. I don't care about, you know, well, uh, we could sell some, but, uh, you know, it doesn't help that much uh, as long as, you know, the Ch Chinatown is safe. That's what I want. At the walk shop, the owner, Tain Ong Chan, says online shopping has helped keep her alive. But online shopping doesn't give visitors a chance to see how special this neighborhood is. Chinatown is unique. Even if we don't have a parade going on or Chinese New Year, it's a community that is very traditional. And uh, we have good restaurants here and uh, just interesting shops. It's unique in that way. And I don't think they have uh, this type of a community and tradition any place else in the United States. It is not an easy time. And while we wait for a time in the year of the ox, when we can get back to our favorite restaurants, shops, and traditions, Chef Brandon Jew of Mr. Jew's, a Michelin starred restaurant in Chinatown, says you do not have to wait to see the beauty and the history that exists here, even when the streets are quiet. When I think of Chinatown and how there can still be support for it, it you know, we're, I think we're all trying to f find like staycation areas where you can kind of still be close by, but also get to experience something new or something like outside of your immediate neighborhood. And I think that's my encouragement. It's like, you know, still go to Chinatown, still like make a trip out there. It's still it's such a beautiful place. Even if you're just in your car still, like you can still see the layers of, of businesses and like the, the architecture and, and, and the lights and all those things that still make it really special. And it is important to remember, too, that there's been a lot of adaptation in Chinatown. So there are outdoor eating areas set up. And so even though the fortune cookie machine isn't moving all the time, Gassia, there are still fortune cookies there. It takes just a second to walk in. And if that's the tradition of your family, that every Chinese New Year parade, you would eat fortune cookies. Well, eat them at home while watching our special. And you can go and support the businesses to make sure, you know, again, that when this is all over and we go back to those streets, those places that we have known and loved and become our traditions are still there. Absolutely. I think so many of us are thinking very carefully about where we spend our money these days. And so when you do go to, let's say, a restaurant or a shop in San Francisco's Chinatown, you can consider that doing good both ways. You and your family get, you know, a beautiful gift item or you get a delicious meal. And of course, you're helping the shopkeepers as well because they've been there so long, so long Claudine, and, and we can't have this be the end of it. Yes. So I've enjoyed your reporting so much this Absolutely. week, Claudine. I know that there's still more to oh, come. I know you. we have a more looking, we have more look to look forward to tomorrow.